In this video, I will demonstrate how to save your files in Delphi 7. If you are a Delphi 7 user, it is important to watch this video. It may seem like a straightforward process, but believe me, I've seen many students in tears because they didn't follow these steps. Here on the screen, I already started the Delphi 7 project in the IDE. One of the first things that you must do when working with new projects is to save your projects and files. When we zoom into the title bar, we see that this project's default name is Project 1. You do not want to keep the default names assigned by Delphi. It's a bad practice because it makes it difficult to identify your projects for future use. When I click here on the Code tab to display the code editor, you will see that the unit is also called Unit 1. You also do not want to keep the default names assigned to the unit files. So, let's rename, organize and save these files. You can of course save your projects and files by clicking on the File menu. When the File menu drops down, you have a few options. You can click on Save, Save As, Save Project As or Save All. I want to save all the files associated with my project. So the easiest way is to click Save All. However, an even quicker way is to click the Save All button in the speed bar or to press the Shift, Ctrl and S key simultaneously. Here's a tip for you. When you hover your mouse pointer over a button in the speed bar, you will see a yellow text block that indicates the purpose of that button. And if a keyboard shortcut is available, it is also displayed. Here you can see that this is the Save All button and the keyboard shortcut is the Shift, Ctrl and S keys. Learn these shortcuts while you are familiarizing yourself with the IDE. They come in handy when you are working against time. When I click the Save All button, a dialog window appears. The title reads, Save Unit 1 As. In the file name box, we also see the default name of the unit file, namely Unit 1. And here we see that the file that we are required to save is a Delphi unit file and that it has a .pass extension. The dialog window is currently open in the default location where all your Delphi files will be saved. However, you do not want to save all your projects in the same location because that may cause file conflicts or overwrite previously saved files. Later in this demonstration, you will see that Delphi projects also have many other files. And if you save all your projects in the same location, it will be very confusing. For the purpose of this demonstration, and to make the files easily accessible, I will save my files in a folder that I am going to create on my desktop. I will click the desktop button here on the left of the dialog window. Here you can now see that the new location is my computer's desktop. To organize all the files together in a nice package, I click this button to create a new folder. A new folder is created, I will just name it now. In this case, I will call it first demo and press enter. You must use descriptive names. It will normally be the name of your application. Now I double click the newly created folder to open it. And in this location, I will save the unit file. But before I do that, I must first give the file a proper name. Unit 1 is not good. This unit file belongs to a form, so I will start the name with an frm prefix. Then the descriptive name follows, in this case first demo, and finally underscore u for the suffix to indicate to me in future that this is a unit. Then I click the save button here on the right of the dialog window. The dialog window immediately pops up again, ready for the next file to be saved. Here we can see that we are still working inside the folder that we created for this project. However, the title now reads, Save Project 1 as. In the file name box, we also see the default name for our project file, namely Project 1. And here, we see that the file that we are required to save is a Delphi project file, and that it has a .dpr extension. I must also give the project file a proper name. In the file name box, I type a descriptive name, in this case, first project, followed by underscore p, because this is a project file. Then I click the Save button. Now let's look at the changes in the IDE. We see that the unit's name changed from Unit 1 to FRM First Demo Underscore U. And in the title bar we see that the project's name changed from Project 1 to First Project Underscore P. The only two files that you had to name was the unit file and the project file. However, I mentioned before that Delphi also saves a bunch of other files. Let's explore that. 
First I will minimize the IDE so that I can see my computer's desktop. Here on the desktop you can see the folder named First Demo that I just created. When I double click this folder, it opens and here you can see all the files. Remember you only saved this project file and this unit file. But Delphi also generated, named and saved four other files. Those files are used by Delphi internally. It is not necessary for you to know them now. I will go back to my project in the IDE. When you click the run button, you are executing the program code to test your program or to view it like your user will see it. To break out of runtime, I can just close the form by clicking the close button here in the corner of the form. I'm now back in design mode or design time. I will now minimize the IDE again to return to my desktop. Then I double click on the project folder again. Go and count the files again. Now we have 8 files. Remember we only had 6 files when we opened this folder before. That means that Delphi generated two more files when we ran the application. Now, can you imagine how much clutter and confusion you will cause if you save all your projects and files in the same folder? Or if you keep all the default names that Delphi assigns? In the next video, I will do the same demonstration in Lazarus. You can skip the next video if you are not a Lazarus user. I'll talk to you again in the next video.